Hey, I'm Andrew with Omaha Outdoors, and this is the Springfield Armory XDS9 3.3 Mod 2. Or maybe it's the XDS9 Mod 2 3.3. In any case, it's a single stack pistol from Springfield Armory, and much to my chagrin, I like it a lot. Our reviews are broken into six parts. Accuracy, shootability, suitability, maintenance, abuse, and the nutshell. We start with accuracy because of the alphabet. Now this pistol uh, I shot, I started out about 35 yards and I was making decent hits on steel targets, not as good as full size pistols, but doing pretty well. Um, I found myself able to engage targets closer in uh, a lot better. Um, so it's a little challenging to shoot this pistol at extended distances, 50 or 100 yards. Not really surprising, uh, it doesn't have a lot of sight radius. Um, it's not super snappy, we'll talk about that in shootability, but um, overall accurate pistol, certainly accurate enough for the types of shooting that you would do with it, which is concealed carry, self-defense, that sort of thing. Shootability. Um, it's not really that snappy. Yeah, it's got some kick to it, but it's certainly um, much less snappy than the Hellcat, which is its newer, uh, younger brother, which is uh, has a higher capacity. I found the XDS-9 to shoot a lot better for me. I had no problems with, I, well, when I was shooting the Hellcat, I had a, a blister on my trigger finger after a couple hundred rounds, uh, after a couple hundred rounds of the XDS-9, no such uh, problem. So it shoots pretty nice, um, and really, I was able to uh, do steel targets, uh, shifting from target to target pretty rapidly uh, without any problems, and I was making hits, uh, you know, pretty well for the size of the pistol and how rapidly I was shooting. So I was pleased with how it shot. Suitability, what's it good for? Well. Um, I definitely, I don't know that I would carry it with this extended um, nine round magazine. It does have a seven round uh, flush magazine that fits basically just the length of the grip here. Uh, for, for that, with that magazine, a uh, great carry gun, uh, conceals uh, you know fairly nicely. No, it's not the smallest thing in the world, but it, it's a good concealed carry weapon. Uh, you have a seven round magazine with that and then one round in the chamber. Um, home defense, I, I don't know. I, I would rather have something else. Uh, but if you're only going to have one pistol and you want to carry it, um, this is not a, a terrible decision. The uh, rail here is not really meant for a full-size pistol light. You can't get that to lock in place, so you'll need to use some sort of smaller pistol light. So to me, uh, this rail is of limited utility. Uh, there are certainly other lights that don't even require a rail and can go on the frame. Um, but it's nice to have a rail, I suppose. Maintenance. Uh, no problems, nothing fell off, nothing broke, uh, and it looks like it's pretty easy to uh, maintain uh, if you needed to change parts. Abuse. All right, well, here's where things started to go sideways. Um, as I always say, uh, subcompact pistols do not uh, do well in abuse testing, and I would normally go on to say that this pistol didn't do well in abuse testing because it's a subcompact pistol, and don't hold it against the gun. It's just how these things are. Well, actually, it was very reliable. Um, I had a, a light primer strike in the mud test. Um, I was using Tula though, so I can't really tell if that was a problem with the ammunition or uh, a problem with the pistol or the mud, but I fired, I cleared that and fired the next four rounds without a malfunction, and that's really impressive because mud tests, uh, pistols hate that. Um, water test, no problems. I don't have the dirt test on video, but it did fine there. I was really, really impressed with the reliability of this pistol. Uh, in addition to that, it fired all the uh, ammunition uh, in all my testing, brass case, steel case, uh, aluminum case, no malfunctions. And when I was done with that abuse testing, I simply dumped, dunked it in a bucket of water, uh, swished it around, uh, pulled it out, wiped it off with a paper towel and dried it, uh, reassembled it, went back to the range and shot another couple hundred rounds through it, no malfunctions. Really, really impressed with the reliability of this pistol. I did not treat it well and it just kept on ticking. So the nutshell, um, great gun, honestly. If you are in the market for concealed carry pistol and you would normally only look at a, a Glock or something else, don't rule this out. Uh, give it a shot. Uh, it took me a little bit to get really spun up on it and shooting it at a level where I was like comfortable with my abilities with it. Uh, right out of the box, I just wasn't making great hits. But after a couple hundred rounds, I was really pleased with the way I was shooting it. So uh, don't rule it out. Like I said, it's a great choice. Uh, it comes stock with excellent sights. It's got a fluorescent uh, ring around a night sight on the front there, and then just plain serrated rear sights. This is exactly how I would set this pistol up. Um, the trigger's not bad. You know, it's a service pistol for concealed carry. You don't want it to be uh, like a, you know, three pound um, crazy crisp trigger. Uh, it breaks cleanly, the reset is nice. There's really nothing bad to say about this gun. 
Uh, it does have limited capacity compared to the Hellcat, but the Hellcat is not fun to shoot. Uh, the XDS9 gave me no problems. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.